Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge! And I do hope that all of you are ready to put on your lab coats and help me clean out the petri dishes today as we mix and match even more animal genetics and see what results tumble out of the petri dishes. I am quite excited about today too because it's another crossover! Woo! We're actually working with Julie, the absolutely gorgeous, very beautiful painted wolf who is just stunning. Look at all of these spots. The painted wolves, also known as the African wild dogs, are one of my favorite species. I just can't get over their spots. You guys know I do have a bit of a passion for those spotty rumps. And uh, Julie here is just gorgeous. Look at all of her spots. Look at her patches. Every inch of this dog is like a beautiful canvas that has been painted by uh, just a wonderful artist. I love this, I love this. And this particular African wild dog is actually made by Krustov Vika2137. Uh, I want to go ahead and always show you guys where I try to snag these ones off the gallery in case you guys would like to get them. And especially if all of you want to come in and just say thank you to the amazing creators who make it possible for us to have such fantastic animals in our laboratory. Also, you can see how many varieties of African wild dog there happen to be on the gallery. Pretty excited about that because it means so many more genes to potentially play with in the future. Especially because the African wild dog has unique patterning. So in real life, each dog is going to look very different from one another. They have some spots around their muzzle and down their legs that most of them tend to have each time. But otherwise, the actual patterning that each dog has will be very individualistic, completely unique, kind of the way that our fingerprints are completely unique, or the way that zebra stripes are completely unique, or Dalmatians for that instance, where there's a similar variety, splotches, the colors are similar, the kind of patterning that you have is somewhat similar, but there's a lot of individual styling to each dog. And I've always just found that so amazing, like each one is their own beautiful painting of this gorgeous colored fur. Uh, very, very fun. And I'm a sucker for spotty butts, you guys know that. So I'm very excited to have Julie here, especially because we just had another litter of adorable painted wolf pups in our Planet Zoo series. So do keep an eye out for that. You'll be seeing some painted wolf puppies showing up later today here in our Pixel Biology Adventures. And of course, if you guys would like to follow along with the adventures of those painted wolves, do give our Sahula Sand Safari a wonderful look because, oh my gosh, it has just been so much fun and it's been so delightful to have some of those amazing creatures from there pop into the lab. So, all of that said, guys, today we have Julie visiting from Sahula Sand Safari and Julie is going to be crossbred with a Pomeranian! I, I should have said with lions, who is not actually a lion. It is just a little Pomeranian who thinks that he's a lion. And he is named Lions, which I thought was the cutest thing when the random comment generator picked that name. I mean, come on, look at this little guy. He thinks that he's a big tough lion, but now his genes will have a chance to try to prove it. So we have been changing how we normally end up crossbreeding our animals now that we're back in the laboratory proper. It is no longer wandering tales of lost love far throughout the land. Instead, we're saying that Julie is just in here for just a moment to kind of get measurements in the lab. We're gonna go ahead, kind of get her heartbeat. We're gonna see how big she is, how much she weighs, maybe see how big her paws are, take pictures of all of the different spots she has. And then we're going to release this very, very endangered animal back into the wild. And little does she know it. But while we are taking our samples, we're going to take just a little, a little pinch of blood, just a few bits of her fur. We're going to extract the DNA from that. And then we're going to go into the lab where we have put into a Petri dish some of the DNA from lions. And then with a little help from all of you guys as my lab assistants, we're going to mix the two together and get a new Petri dish round of puppies, which I really love because it always was a bit of a stretch to make a ton of love stories with our animals and there will be more in the future. But lately guys, I've been thinking, I kind of want to build a lab proper. So keep your eyes out. But I'm thinking that we might actually have a new series that will be showing up in the next few months where we will be taking on, are you guys prepared for this? 
A 101 chill, or well, I guess it could be 101. A 100 puppies and kittens challenge, where we will actually try making a lab, a proper laboratory, where we would have a sim guiding the group. We could have a whole club system set up where you guys could end up joining in as some of the lab assistants. And we could go ahead and try crossbreeding our way up to 100 puppies or 100 cats. And I think that would be a lot of fun. I think we should probably pick one species or the other first and maybe do puppies first. But I just think that would be a ton of fun to go through and to have you guys vote like on which generation heir we end up keeping, on what the new experiment should be, if we should try breeding our puppy with like a cow, or if we should try breeding our puppy with a tiger or a dragon or something. I think that'd be a ton of fun. So let me know what you guys think about having a proper lab where we could actually start off a whole series where the challenge would be a long legacy arc of uh, carrying on with breeding up to 100 animals and seeing what we end up with in the final generation. That would be a lot of fun. But all right, friends, all of that said, let's go ahead and little lions doesn't even know it. He's very proud, he's a bit vocal. He is quite playful, he's a bit of a sleuth, uh, but he's about to be in charge of a new little litter of puppies that he is going to guide in the puppy daycare, in the little doggy daycare, and Julie is about to be released back into the wild, but before she goes, let's see what their babies would look like. In the name of science! Oh, this one's so cute, but this is not the, uh, the baby we're looking for. All right, so we've got Julie, we've got lions, and now we have <gasps> Sakura! Wow! You look nothing like I thought you would! So this is actually going to be Sakura. And there we go. Our little girl. And she is very vocal, jumpy, and a couch potato, which sounds freaking adorable. And Sakura breeding up the spirit fox from our wonderful Spirit of the North series and the wolf from Lost Ember sounds absolutely amazing. I love the idea of a mermaid cat in a Scottish fold as well. We'll definitely have to keep those on the list. There we go. But welcome, welcome to the lab, Sakura. I love how, like, she's a jumpy couch potato who's vocal. Hmm. She has a lot to say, but probably wears herself out bouncing all over the place and needs to take a nap. That's so cute. All right, let's go ahead and add in the next one. And we've got... <gasps> yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! This is what I wanted! This is what I wanted! This is what I wanted! Perfect! Welcome to Jasmine! Jasmine, welcome! You are exactly who I was hoping we would end up getting. You can't produce wool though, my dear. We didn't add in those genes. Still can't produce wool. Can't produce milk either. Still can't produce milk. Oh my gosh, Jasmine. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Jasmine is hairy and friendly and a bit of a troublemaker, but she is so freaking cute and this is exactly the kind of mix I was really hoping for when we were going to start mixing and matching these genes. Oh, it's perfect. I think we can already say we've had a successful experiment. The hypothesis was literally just to create this adorable thing. Uh, all right, but that means that all of the rest of the puppies are just going to be icing on the cake. So, welcome to Anna. Anna, you look so adorable. Look at that like proud little muzzle, thinner fur, but a twirly tail. Wow, I can't wait to see what Anna grows up, up into because that just looks like a really sweet dog. Okay, I literally said that, and then Anna, it turns out that actually one of your genes happens to be being very aggressive. All right, I see how it is. Uh, also, you're adventurous and you're active, so welcome. Uh, maybe I need to respect the fact that you have a African wild dog, which is not a domesticated species of dog, mind you. It is definitely still like a wild wolf, basically, or coyote. Um, yeah, I'm gonna respect that you've got wild genes in you and not go ahead and snuggle you to my face and call you the cutest puppy ever. Hmm. I am somewhat attached to my face after all. All right, let's pull up the next name from the name list. As always, my friends, if you want to become one of the creatures in our lab, all you need to do is go ahead and leave a name or a comment and names down in the comment section and the random comment generator may pick you. All right, and then, <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, Julie Lyons, you guys have such great genes! And welcome to Tyler! Welcome, welcome, little guy! 
you are actually super playful and friendly and a couch potato, which is really ironic. It's like you really shouldn't judge a book by its cover because you would think that maybe Anna would be the one that you would treat like a normal puppy and she's actually going to try to bite your nose off. And then Tyler, you'd be a little more cautious with. And actually, he just wants snuggles and he just wants to sleep up against you. How cute is that? All right, let's go ahead and whip up the next puppy. Dun dun dun! Okay, that's a cute dog. Oh, <gasps> and this is going to be a little Amy. So welcome, little Amy. There we go. You're very cute, you know. Amy, like, Amy kind of looks like they've been jumping around in a puddle, but in reverse. Oh. All right, so Amy, you are also a couch potato. We've got a bunch of lazy puppies, which is adorable, who is very adventurous and a sleuth. So gets tired and worn out, but really likes to take naps. I wonder how much that ends up kind of fighting with yourself uh, so that you don't end up wanting to do much. Also, holy cow noodles, there is such a huge list here, friends, from Warrior Cat Weirdo who would like to have somebody named after their dog, Hazel. Uh, Warrior Cat Weirdo, holy moly, a Great Dane and a Lion, a Tiger and a Pomeranian, a Cheetah and a Greyhound. I'm going to copy all of these suggestions. And just so you guys know, I do copy your, your guys' suggestions when you come up with any cool things in the comments. I copy them. Whoops, sorry, Amy. Let's, let's back up a little bit. There we go. But I do end up copying uh, any of the suggestions that you guys have in the comments into a big giant list and it's getting so big now that soon we'll start using a random generator to pick our random generator challenge which is going to be even more fun uh so keep all of those things coming and warrior cat weirdo i will be happy to name this little one hazel after your dog hazel congratulations on the puppies okay and Hazel, you too would like it to be known that while you may look really sweet and everyone might think they can pet you like a normal puppy, that is not the case. You are to be respected as a wild dog, for you are stubborn, you are aggressive, uh, and you are very vocal about it. <laughs> so I will leave you be, Hazel. But alright guys, now it's time to go ahead and let Julie stroll off back into the wild to have some actual African wild dog puppies. And uh, Lions doesn't even know it yet, but he's about to be in charge of watching over all these little ones in the doggy daycare play yard. Alright, Sakura, let's go ahead and grow you up first. Oh my gosh, okay, you can't have a dragon tail. <laughs> We did not mix, there we go. We uh, Well, actually, that's a, that's a horse tail, or, okay, that's a bunny tail. All right, there we go. We finally got a tail that would work for you. But look at you. Sukura, you're beautiful. Look at you. I actually, like, you remind me of a bunny, to be honest. I would never have guessed that that would result from that mix. That's why I love doing this so much. Uh, however, I can see a little bit of Julie. A little bit of Julie in her. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, yes! Jasmine, how could I forget how perfect you are? Let's go ahead and see. This is this is what I wanted, was basically poofy, curly-tailed African dog color patterning on a puppy. But what will you look like grown up, Jasmine? Jasmine? You're precious. <laughs> All right, that was a successful experiment. Claps and hats off to us, friends. We're definitely going to need to, um, to save this one as like a success. Perhaps we will run it again in the future because this is adorable. Jasmine, thank you. Thank you for being exactly what I was searching for. And then we've got Anna here. Anna, quite aggressive. <laughs> what? Okay. Anna, I love you. You're completely not what I predicted. This is amazing. Um, heck, this is why I love, love, love our random genes. Look at these three. They're siblings. Would you think they're siblings? I would not call these three siblings. This is why this is so much fun. Tyler, give it, give us your best. Tyler, okay. Tyler, you are the, oh my gosh, Tyler. Oh, your tiny eyes and your tiny nose. Tyler, Tyler, I love him. This is one of the best mixes we've had in so long. I love him. Oh my gosh. You guys. Amy. Amy, you're so pretty. Heck, 
You can't have a dragon tail, or multiple tails, actually. Or a dragon tail again, or a bunny tail. D Amy, no horse tail. Okay, there you go, Amy. <laughs> All right, Amy is absolutely beautiful. She would go down on my list of potential dogs to add to my legacy. And finally, let's go ahead and see what Hazel grows up into. Hazel. Hazel. Oh, you're precious. You're aggressive and stubborn. But look at, what is with this face? Why is she so beautiful? I love her friends. I love her. Okay. All right. All right. I, I don't know how to handle this. This was the best mix I think we have had in a very long time. Look at the variety. Look at the fun. We've got to keep these ideas coming. The Pomeranian and the, the Painted Wolf was actually a suggestion from one of you. So keep those comments coming, friends, because clearly you make the lab into something even better than I could do on my own, because we do it together. So all right, friends, let me know which one of these lovely pups you would like to bring home, or what further experiments you would like to run. Be sure to leave a comment so that the random comment generator can pick your name for next time. And, of course, if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!